Okay. Well, thank you. That was a very kind intro. Um, I'll, I'll hide behind here for a minute because I've always wanted to stand at one of these. Because I've always been you guys watching. So this is really exciting for me. Cause it's like, oh my goodness, I get to talk during this. I don't have to be quiet. Okay, so we're talking about using social media to send real-time news updates. That's, that's the base of what we're going to talk about here. And we'll talk about goats later on. But um, news is so important in your community. And as a local news reporter, that's our job is to get you the info that you need and then also give you some info that you might find entertaining. There's that real basic live updates. Who's on Twitter? Is everyone on Twitter? Who's on Twitter right now? Who's, who's ready to power through this event? Okay. <laughs> so Twitter to me has been the most valuable social media uh, website to interact with viewers and to also get information to the community that matters. I have coworkers that prefer to be on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. To me, Twitter's the most exciting thing. When you're setting these real-time updates, it's important because you can get everybody all the info they need as soon as you hit send. They don't have to wait till the 5 p.m. newscast. They don't have to log on. They don't have to read through and wait through an ad. It's on Twitter. It's right there. And when you're talking about the importance of news in your community, you have basic level stuff like a car accident, for example. Say there's a car accident in your neighborhood and traffic's blocked for hours. That'd be a great information for you to have so you don't turn left and get stuck and you're late on your way to school or wherever you're going. You get an update from KTVB, you get an update on Twitter. Okay, you know, so and so is blocked. Let's get around it. So real basic level, it's, it's great that we can now send you real-time updates on social media. You don't have to wait for the newscast. But at a higher level, social media has given journalists and regular people at home the opportunity to be a part of transparency. For example, when we talk about politics, you can go to the state legislature, you can sit in and you can listen to it all day as they talk about bills and laws that will really affect you. At a local level, local elections and local decisions, that's going to really have the most effect on your day-to-day -day life. Of course, the presidential election it's, gets a lot of attention, but in terms of your community and your life, the most impact you're likely going to have is through local issues, and that's legislated at the state house. Does everyone have time every day to go sit in and keep our lawmakers accountable? No, you don't. You have jobs, you have school, you have a life. You don't have time to sit there for the entire session. But journalists, that's our job. I get paid to go there and hold our lawmakers accountable. What we can do on the floor of a Senate meeting or what we can do in a committee meeting is tell you what's happening because you guys don't get to vote you elect the people that vote for you. And likely, you probably want to know how the person you voted for is representing your community, how they're representing you. And before social media, it's kind of like, well, let's see what makes the news. The truth is, though, you have half hour, you know, five and six, we have an hour at four. We can't fit every single thing in our newscasts. On social media, though, there's no, there's no limit. I could tweet and tweet and tweet, and it could be about politics, it could be about goats, it's unlimited. But when it is about politics, it's important because let's say we're taking a look at a bill. And for example, I can think of one that comes off the top of my head. We're talking a lot about vaping these days, Tobacco 21. There was a citizens movement to have the legal age uh, to buy tobaccos to 21. So it was a very easy to understand issue for people. They came in, they testified, but not everyone could be there. And people want to know, how is this going to affect my small business? What if I own a gas station and all of a sudden my, my user base, 18 to 21, I can't sell to them anymore? Am I going to be able to afford rent? Am I going to be able to feed my family? I want to know how the people in my community feel about this. I want to know how my leaders are voting on this. Because maybe the guy I voted for last year, we're not on the same page anymore. But how are you going to know that? Through social media. And we don't live tweet every single thing that happens at the state house or in a courthouse. But the big ones that may have the most impact on you we have the ability to do that. Um, she mentioned that journalists make the world better. I don't know about that, but I think journalists give you the opportunity to make the world better. We can give you the information, as we talked about immediate relief for a hurricane. I can give you the information. People in this area, they need your help. You can click on this link and you can help them. That's awesome. In your community as well, the food bank is looking for a certain, certain amount of items. Hey, you know, we can help get that message out there. So there's a lot of good that can be done on social media. Um, there's also this sense on social media of community. It's social media. We're social creatures. Why is Twitter so popular? Well, a man in New York and a man in Australia can be watching the same news event and following along on Twitter, and 
they can feel like they're part of this community hundreds and thousands of miles away, that they have this shared experience and they could have this shared conversation on social media. And so when a journalist has the ability to send you real-time updates, you don't have to wait till six o'clock and just get the highlights. You can get it right away and you can engage and you can have the information. The best weapon, weapon in today's society is information and truth. And to get there, it, it takes work. And as professionals, journalists, that's our job is to get you that information, to get you that truth, to get you that weapon so that you can be an informed voter. So you can know how to get to school without running into traffic. So you can know if there's a serious situation in your community that people need help with. It's also great to be part of a community because sometimes something exciting and fun happens. And you can forget everything for an hour and you can talk about goats. Last year, as I'm sure some of you saw, there was a group of goats that broke out in a Boise neighborhood. This became legitimately one of the biggest stories in the world, all through social media. One tweet had a million views within a few hours. And it wasn't important. Honestly, everyone could have gone through their day with the goats and not known about it and they would have been fine. But having that 10 minutes, having that 20 minutes to be part of a shared experience with people around the world, it, it distracted. For 20 minutes, it wasn't about politics. It wasn't about Democrats or Republicans. It wasn't about anything except goats terrorizing a neighborhood. And you could say it's, it's silly, it's frivolous, it has no value, but it does. And we're talking about laughing and the value of comedy and the value of release. Social media has the ability to bring people together and to have a shared experience that may not have significant value, but if it makes you feel better for 10 minutes, I'd say that's pretty significant. You have to remember though, social media is not, it's not all great. There's a lot of bad stuff on social media. There's trolls, there's lies, there's misinformation. And it can be tough to wade through all of that. It's overwhelming. There's millions and millions of tweets every single day. And obviously you can't get through all of them. But my challenge to you is to interact with your community. Maybe it can be tough for you to get down to the state house. Maybe it's tough for you to get into a courtroom and follow something that really matters to you. But likely, if it's an important community issue, there will be a journalist there. And all you gotta do is give them a little follow. You don't even have to follow them, actually. You can just know how to get to them. You don't have to clutter up your feed. But you can follow through legislature. You can follow through courts. You can follow through meetings. You can follow through stuff that will give you more information to be an educated member of your community. And if, if you're not into that, that's fine. That's totally your choice. But being an educated voter and being an educated citizen can help you be a better neighbor. It can help you really give back to your community. Uh, there's so many times where I've seen Jimmy out in the community, for example, they're picking up goat heads, they're helping kids on bicycles. I would never know about a lot of this stuff if someone hadn't put it on social media, if a picture hadn't gone viral, if a story hadn't become popular. And there are often times that don't, there are situations and news events that don't make the news because you know, Jimmy picking up goat heads on the side of the road is not gonna make the five o'clock news. But it's something that you could see on social media and that you can interact with and say, well, maybe I'd like to go be a part of that too. Maybe I'll help just clean up my street. That way the kids can ride to school and not pop their tires. And Jimmy already touched on accessibility, so I'll leave that there. But the point I'm trying to make is that social media is valuable and it's as valuable as you want it to be. You can be a part of your community from your couch at home. You can follow along and be a part of the political process while you're eating your dinner. It does take work and it does take effort, but it's important. And as journalists, we pride ourselves on giving you the information to help make your community a better place and to keep you informed, save you time, maybe in traffic, let you know what the weather's gonna be. Of course, everyone loves to follow sports and everything on TV. It's exciting. Of course, I love to watch The Bachelor and follow along on Twitter because I, have to, I wanna know what other people are saying. I wanna know, do people agree with me? Same thing with politics. I'm curious, why do they think this? What's the logic behind this? And you can really see a lot of different viewpoints. Um, thank you so much for everybody being here today in the middle of your day and all the great speakers. Jimmy, he's a busy guy to get going, but um, I guess I'd wrap this up challenging you to be a part of your community, whether that be physically in your community or online. Um, the more information you have, the more valuable you can be to your community. Thank you. <laughs>